Hi guys! So we are starting our very first lecture video for unit operations and we will be talking about liquid-liquid extraction. Well, I know na maaring hindi ito yung pinakamagandang topic para simulan yung unit operations. But I chose this, well, not because paborito ko to, but because I have some notes about liquid-liquid extraction na gusto kong ishare. Na one thing na na-observe ko when I'm studying liquid-liquid extraction is that mayroong pattern na pwede nating gamitin in our calculation whenever the distribution coefficient is constant. So, dyan tayo magsisimula, guys. Uh, Pag-uusapan natin yung liquid-liquid extraction, then magko-compute tayo ng mga problems uh, using the assumption na constant yung ating distribution coefficient. I felt bad kasi kung nalaman ko sana to during college. Na-discuss ko siya sa professor ko and maybe nagamit namin. And if mali yung analysis ko or mali yung derivation ko, then they can correct me immediately. No? I shared this sa mga kaklase ko na nag-take ng board exam, pero I think nakalimutan na rin nila to ngayon. Kasi this is not really found sa mga reference books and lecture notes namin. So this could be unimportant anymore para sa amin. No? But I will share it and in case you found there is something wrong on this, equations, then you can tell me para may correct natin. Well, gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo guys yung overview ng equation na to. Kasi it will be useless kung magja-jump tayo sa paggamit ng equations without understanding yung concept ng liquid-liquid extraction. So, magsisimula muna tayo doon. Kaya lang para may ipakita sa inyo kung paano ba siya. Let us just try to solve one problem. Okay? Well, imagine this problem na hinanda ko dito. There are 30 kg of solute in 100 liters of water. The weight of the solute that will be extracted by 35 liters of ether if the distribution coefficient is 4, is A, 3 kg, B, 2 kg, C, 3.45 kg, or D, 2.45 kg. Well, this problem actually is, came from sa mga... Uh, review papers na ginamit namin during board exam. So, is-draw ko lang yung diagram natin dito. Okay? So, kung wala pa kayo sa liquid extraction, guys, maaaring hindi kayo familiar sa mga terms dito. Pero, anyway, sa mga succeeding video natin, magsisimula tayo sa concept, no? Kaya, pag-aaralan uli natin to. So, ang given sa atin dito, meron daw solute na 30 kg. dito sa ating feed ng water na 100 liters. Okay? And then, ang ginamit natin pang extract, ang tawag nila rito is carrier or solvent. So, ang ginamit dito is either na may volume na 35 liters. Okay? So, yung raffinate natin, guys, will still have 100 liters of water and ang ating extract will have 35 liters of ether. Well, ang pinapahanap sa atin dito is yung weight ng solute na naandito sa extract natin. No? So, let me put x is equal to the kilogram of solute dito sa ating raffinate. No? This is our raffinate. And this is our extract. Therefore, kung x ang ating solute dito sa raffinate, ang solute dito sa ating ether is 30 minus x. Okay, so ang distribution coefficient natin is equal to 4. So ang distribution coefficient natin is the mass fraction of the solute in the raffinate over the mass fraction of the solute in the extract. So we'll have here, the mass fraction ng solute dito sa ating raffinate and the mass fraction of solute dito sa ating extract which is 35. Okay, 35 yan guys. So, simplifying this, we'll have x over 100 times 35 over 30 minus x. Then now we will solve for x. So we'll have here 
4 times 100 over 35 times 30 minus x is equal to x. So we will calculate this guys and we will have here 11.4286 times 30 is equal to x times 1 plus 11.4286. Okay, so computin na natin to guys. So makukuha natin dito x is equal to 27.5. 5.86 kilogram. Well, as you know, katulad ng naisulat natin dito, yung x natin is yung weight ng sulut dito sa raffinate. So, ang kailangan natin is ito, yung weight ng sulut dito sa extract. So, we'll have 30 minus x. So, ang sulut dito sa extract is equal to 30 minus 27.5 586 kilogram. So, this is equal to 2.4138 kilogram. Okay? So, this is our final answer. 2.4138 which is this one. Letter D. So, now guys, how can we solve this using yung equation na sinasabi ko? Okay? So, I will use this formula. X is equal to F over F plus 1 times W. Well, this formula, guys, is applicable only for single stage, katulad na itong problem natin ngayon. Isang stage lang yung ating liquid-liquid uh, extraction. Okay? So, gumamit ako dito ng mga iba't-ibang variables, F and W. Well, yung F natin dito, guys, is equal to the partition ratio multiply by yung volume ng raffinate over the volume of extract. So, kukunin lang natin yung F natin dito guys. And this is equal to, uh, ang ating distribution coefficient is um, 4. So, we'll have here 4 times yung volume ng raffinate over the volume ng extract. So, yung raffinate natin is 100 and yung extract natin is 35. So, we have here 100 over 35. So, this is equal to 11.4286. So, we have here 11.4286. Okay? Now, yung W natin dito, guys, is equal to weight of solute in the feed. Okay? So, this is equal to 30 kilogram. So, yan yung nandito sa solute natin sa feed, no? 30 kilogram. So, this is equal to 30. So, substitute na natin. X is equal to yung F natin, 11.4286 over 11.4286 plus 1 times 30. And this is equal to 27.586 And yung hinanap natin is yung weight ng solute sa extract which is equal to 30 minus 27.586 and this is equal to 2.4138. So, ito yung final answer natin. Well, I know guys, naisipin ninyo pareho lang naman. So, halos pareho lang yung pagsosolve kasi ganun din naman yung naging way natin. No? Actually guys, you will understand what I mean kapag nagkaroon ka ng ganitong problem. So, eto yung unang problem na sinolve natin. No? And nalaman natin na ang sagot is letter D. Ngayon, ang tanong guys, eto yung sumunod na tanong. If a three-stage counter-current system is used in the previous problem. So, itong problem na to rin, no? Kaya lang naging 3-stage countercurrent system siya. The weight of the solute that will remain in the raffinate is dito x ang hinahanap. But, we have a 3-stage countercurrent system, guys. So, ano ibig sabihin nun? Meron tayo ditong 3 stages. Ganito yan. 3 stages. 
Then we have a counter current system. So ito yung feed. Okay? So ito yung feed natin. And this is the raffinate. Now this is yung solvent. And this is the extract. No, yun nasa pinakadulo natin. Extract. Okay, so pareho pa rin yung mga given natin, guys. We have here solute equal to 30 kilogram. Then we have here uh, 100 liters of water. And then we have 35 liters ng solvent. So, ngayon guys, ang pag-solve nito ngayon is kailangan natin gumawa ng material balance katulad nito. Ang unang ginawa natin dito, no? Ito dito sa part na to. Okay, so inisa-isa natin siya. Gagawin natin 'yan ngayon in each of these stages. So gagawin natin 'yan dito, gagawin natin 'yan dito, gagawin natin 'yan dito. So meron lang tayo ditong 3 stages, guys. So kapag meron kang 5 stages, so limang ganyan ang gagawin natin. And what's good about this equation na ginamit natin? is that you just have to do the same procedure. Itong procedure na to, guys. Ayan lang din ang gagawin mo, kahit na maraming stages ka pa na kailangan computein. So, hindi mo kailangan isa-isahin. Ito lang ang gagamitin mo, guys. But of course, itong ginamit kong equation dito, this is good only for single stage. So, kapag maraming stages, gagamitin natin yung general formula na na-derive natin. No? So, yan ang isi-share natin uh, during the course of this lecture video about liquid-liquid extraction. Well, I hope susundan nyo yung ating lecture para ma-discuss natin to ng step by step. And then, pag may nakita kayong mali, you can notify me and we can correct it together. Okay, so that's all for now guys. I hope to see you sa ating first video ng liquid-liquid extraction.